Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jayakumar. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If this is your first time and not yet subscribed, please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my brand new videos. In this lecture video, we are going to study about kinematic joints and their types and also determination of equivalent binary joints will be explained with an illustrative example. In the flow chart of machine shown below, we have already covered about kinematic link and kinematic pairs in our previous videos. Before studying kinematic chain, we need to know about kinematic joints, which will be covered in this video. What are kinematic joints? To understand them better, let us consider an automatic door closing mechanism that we see in our day to day life. In this mechanism, the fixed link, which is nothing but a link one that includes door frame and the housing of the large damper. The door two act as a link two that rotates relative to the frame via the door hinge. The link four rotates relative to link one and link three which is connected to links two and four by pins at its end. The skeleton diagram of the given mechanism can be drawn. This diagram is also known as kinematic diagram. Kinematic diagram illustrates the connecting of links and joints of a mechanism without bothering about dimensions or shape of those various parts. As we could see, links are being joined by joints. Joint is a permanent contact between the two links. In fact, this four link mechanism has four joints, three pin joints and one sliding joint. Now we'll discuss about types of joints in a chain. In general, there are four types of joints, namely binary joint, ternary joint, quaternary joint and complex joint. We will present them one by one now. Let us start with a binary joint. In this four bar chain, we have four joints, namely A, B, C and D. If two links are joined at the same connection, then that joint is known as binary joint. If you take a joint A, which joins two links, namely one and four, so we can call joint A as a binary joint. While solving problem, we need to determine the number of binary joints. The second type is a ternary joint. In the six link chain shown, we have two ternary joints at point C and D. If three links are joined at the same connection, then we can call that joint as a ternary joint. It's always required to indicate ternary joint in terms of an equivalent binary joints while solving a problem. So it can be proved that one ternary joint is equivalent to two binary joints. The third type is a quaternary joint. As we could see in the lemon link chain shown, we have two quaternary joints at points F and G. For example, at point F, we have four links, namely link 5, 6, 7 and 8 are joined at the same connection. So that point F can be called as quaternary joint. It can be proved that one quaternary joint is equivalent to three binary joints which would be useful while solving numerical problems. The final type is a complex joint. 
if more than four links are joined at the same connection then the joint is known as complex joint number of binary joints is one less than number of links joined at that pin joint so for a five joint it is equivalent to four binary joint often it is required to determine the equivalent number of binary joints for a given chain while solving numerical problems here we have a 11 link chain and it has joints namely a to g so going by each join one at a time we can see there we have one binary joint at point c whereas joints a b d and e are ternary joints where three links are joined finally the two remaining joints namely f and g where four links are connected and hence we have two quaternary joints now let us determine the number of binary joints we know that one ternary joint is equivalent to two binary joints so i will multiply number of ternary joints by two and also we know that one quaternary joint is equivalent to three binary joints so i will multiply number of quaternary joints by three in order to get the equivalent binary joints and hence as shown we will get 15 number of binary joints for the given chain finally the key takeaways of this lecture are summarized for your reference That's it. Hope you like this work. If so, support this work by liking this video, sharing it to your friends, subscribing the channel and hitting the notification bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.